Well, I am still having breakfast. Let me get you fixed up there. Yeah, I'm still having breakfast. Uh, I've done, I started early today. I started at 3 o'clock this morning. I started at 3 a.m. Uh, it is now, time and date stamp, uh, 4 hours and 58 minutes into the day of uh, Monday, October 13th, 2014. It is officially uh, thanks, Canadian Thanksgiving. This is where they serve up hockey pucks for uh, Thanksgiving dinner. No, it's <laughs> we all go to our collective igloo. We all go to our collective igloos and have uh, Thanksgiving. Well, most people do, anyways. Uh, I'm working. Uh, I'm at my stud I'm at my research desk. So I, I I needed to get I needed to get my debug work work started today. Uh, I was supposed to wait till tomorrow, but uh, I really can't wait anymore. So uh, I decide that I'm gonna start today. Starting, I actually started at three o'clock in the morning. That's why I'm so late. Uh, normally I would I would have vlogged at three right at the beginning, but uh, I had some issues to deal with, and I, I and this is what happens when I was sleeping. I realized what, what may be some of the problems I was having with Caden Live. See, I rolled back. I rolled back the version. The new version of Caden Live was crappy. Uh, but I, so I rolled back to the old version of Caden Live. Uh, right now, I'm using an editor called OpenShot. But there are still some problems with it. So I was sitting down thinking. Uh, even when I was sleeping, sleeping, I was sort of thinking about it. And when I woke up this morning, I had some solutions that I wanted to try out. So I did that in the beginning. I did I did the solutions in the begin uh, now. Uh, I did the initial setup. I haven't gone back and actually tested it out. I just wanted to get to a point where, you know, I got the initial work done, the initial installations done, because these are extra programs, extra uh, applications that I had to install that would have uh, made the difference with everything. Uh, let's see here what's going on. Oh. That is a oh. <laughs> There's a reflection coming in here, so I didn't know what exactly what it was. So, <laughs> uh, back to what I was saying. Yeah, I wanted to get the applications uh, that I thought would resolve the problem installed uh, before I actually <clears throat> uh, did any testing on it. Then I also wanted to offload some of the uh, the files that I had already have on there. Some of the files that have already been edited. I want to get them off there. Uh, just to sort of, uh, um, I should say, uh, free up space on the hard drive. So that's the whole issue of freeing up space on the hard drive. Uh, and then what I will have to do if the issues are still, if the issues are still really bad, because yesterday I tried using Caden Live, the old, the old version, but it crashed on me. It, it crashed during the rendering. So the question is now whether or not I made a mistake during the initial rollback. So I've redone, I've redone the rollback, or redid the install uh, for uh, Caden Live for the old version, and I want to test it after I've eaten uh, dinner. Well, after I've eaten breakfast, and I'm having breakfast now. After I've eaten breakfast, uh, I have to wait for the files to transfer because right now the files are transferring off the system because there's a, there's a fair amount. It'll take a couple hours. Uh, and then uh, after that, I'm going into the music studio. I'm going to practice my Greek. And there's some uh, old chants. Uh, there, these, this type of music is uh, a, a couple thousand years old, but, but a thousand plus years old. Uh, so I'm going to try this out and see how it works out. I've got a couple examples that I can, I can, uh, I can sort of 
do a karaoke to, if you will. And we'll see what happens. So, uh, I do have my day planned. I've got a, 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 I, I was supposed to be taking things off today, you know, doing something very simple in life, but what else am I going to do? I've got nothing left to do. You know, I'm, uh, I don't have anyone who's going to sort of invite me over for uh, dinner or anything like that, so... I'm gonna do my work here. This is what I usually do. And this is actually how I started off uh, doing Nords RL. I mean, uh, uh, Big Bang Theory RL. Uh, is that I was uh, doing work uh, two New Year's Eve ago, I think, I think, two or three New Year's Eve ago. I don't go anywhere New Year's Eve either. And watching Cassandra at Nords RL and uh, thought, hey, let's try this out. Because uh, you're, not, you know, you're not supposed to be able to vlog and do video production on Linux. Linux is not supposed to be ready yet for, for, for this. Uh, so, everybody else, like, you know, Jupiter Broadcasting, the ones that, the, a lot of these people who do these Linux shows, even Nixie Pixel, they don't, they're not solely on Linux. They're using Windows. They're using a lot of other things in addition to Linux. This channel is solely built on Linux. What you're seeing here is complete Linux production. Nothing else. So... Uh, I have to deal with the issues as they come along. Otherwise, if, if and this is what's caught, what's what this is what's holding up uh, Cyborg Alpha TV Live is again it's a Linux issue. I have to do a lot of debug work to get the thing working properly. So, anyways, our time is up. I will see you in the next segment for the BTS vlog. Until then, have a good one. Well, I promised a test shot, and so. <laughs> Here we are. Uh, I'm going to do another segment of the BTS vlog. The whole goal here is to try to uh, film over my shoulder and so that you can sort of see what's on the screen here. I'm also going to have to go uh, wash this back over again and readjust the graphics so that uh, I'm not blocked out of the system, uh, out, of, out of the screen. So well, you know, you don't. Want, I don't want to have the graphics covering me. So uh, this is going to be a new uh, thing, uh, a new test sort of thing, a new way of uh, filming. Uh, this is how I'm actually going to form. This is a text shot for uh, uh, Ubuntu BSD units. To tell us before, I'm going to be uh, filming the Linux show right here. And the reason why is that this is my main research desk. And with a big screen like this, you can sort of see over my shoulder. This is kind of, uh, I'm producing an over the shoulder shot here. This is what I'm doing. This is the whole goal here. To produce this sort of over the shoulder look. You're standing right next to me and you're watching what I'm doing. And that sort of gives me the uh, ability to sort of, sort of show you around my desktop. This is my desktop here. This is my normal vlogging desktop. Here's the timer. Uh, here are some here are some notes. These are the notes here. Uh, I don't, I, maybe I should change the pointer, but uh, let's sort of try this out. I'm gonna use this as a pointing device because I want to point to things. So right here are my notes. This is the timer. This is my desktop. As you can see, I'm a geek. I have my dolls. <laughs> uh, I like my toys. This is my file manager. I have, uh, I think I have, let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have 16 virtual desktops. Uh, this is where I use Firefox. This is some, some projects that I'm working on right now. Uh, this is my notebook. Usually, I have uh, uh, I have five desktops just for notes alone because I do take a lot of notes from a variety of different areas. So, but uh, this is kind of in the middle of uh, I'm fixing my notes up. So, some things are up and some things are not. Uh, I am working on trying to bring uh, the music the music studio back online again. And the thing is, it's not that I'm back online again. I'm trying to go further with it. And every time you upgrade, you realize that there's always more to get done. That you haven't done everything exactly the way uh, you think it should have been done. Or as you move along and you're entering that the, a new new phase, you begin to realize that you've missed things. In other words, you don't go into a new level with a full understanding of what the level entire ent entails. So part of the learning process within the level is learning where your your shortcomings are where mistakes to me are made and and I realize that even though I've got a new professional piano coming that will 
uh, do a lot of sound effects and allow me to build build a full music studio. And there's a full 88 key piano. Uh, I realized that this system here doesn't have enough power to run it. And so what's going to have, end up having to ha have to happen is that uh, I'm going to have to go into Linux once again. Because, again, I don't buy commercial software. The whole goal here is to sit down, figure out with Linux how to get the various different... Um, the various different uh, features of Linux to work in here. But that means sitting down, once you're in a program, you want to get it to work, you have to debug everything. But a lot of because programs are interconnected, just because you start working on one program doesn't mean what the other, pro other programs that are connected to it are going to be fine as well. So you have to start debugging the entire system from the point where you start at your program that you want to run all the way back to the main system to do, to, 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 let's say here, we want to work on the music studio. The key areas that I need to work in are ALSA and JAMIC. ALSA is the main audio system, and that's what runs the main audio system here. And uh, the one that does a lot of the MIDI work is uh, Jack. And the two need to sort of be mixed together, they need to work together properly. And there's a lot of uh, fine debug work that actually has that has that needs to be done to sort of to get these things to work. And I realize that the system doesn't have enough power to do that. This brings me into the test bench, which is behind you. Uh, that means I'm gonna have to test bench a new feature in Linux that I I know about, but I really haven't really experienced it so much. And that's creating something known as uh, headless systems. What you can do with Linux is you can chain systems together. So let's say this system doesn't have enough power. You can put another box on here without it having a monitor or anything on it. And you can tie the two boxes together. So in other words, instead of just getting rid of this box, you add another box to it. And the two boxes join together with Linux in a cluster, sort of, in a cluster, the cluster, or in a cluster. And the power of the two systems now combine and you all of a sudden have more power, and you have more flexibility to do things. And this is kind of how, you know, how I've done things. You know, just sort of back up a little bit here, uh, show you that I've got the concept of a cluster system here, but not exactly. These are my androids. Here, I have two, two androids here. This ha they both handle my phone systems, right? All my phone systems, my communications, is on here. Uh, up there is my uh, IPTV. Uh, and that's, so I have Two Androids here, and because the IPTV, as I said before, it's Android as well, uh, I've got all my stuff up on here. So, this is kind of how things go. You test things out, you uh, try things out, and this is what debug work is. And the thing is, debug is working, you, you solve some of the errors, you move a little bit further, and then you come into a whole new group of problems. Work down, solve those problems to a certain degree, move forward. And then as long as you're moving forward a bit, you don't have to have to complete success. As long as you're moving forward a bit, then you're having progress and you have to recognize the progress within the failures. You know, uh, when you're working on a project or sub-project, some of the stuff is going to fail, some of the stuff is going to succeed. You need to take what you learned as your success and move it forward. Even though maybe let's say, let's say all the stuff here fails, but I learned something from it. I learned more coding, I learned more of the debug work, Take that, move it forward, and use it when I go back and retackle the project once again. And sometimes you try you, you try to work on it again and again uh, for a week, but sometimes if if you can get it to a point where it's working okay, and this is what I'm talking about, everything's okay or well. If you can get it working okay, then that's good enough. You put the project aside and you start working on something else. Because if you keep working on a project again and again and again without stop. At some point in time, you're going to bog down uh, because you just get too tired from it. Your mind can't push that far. You need a distraction. You need to take some time off away from it. And the way you do that is by um, basically uh, bringing in other sub-projects uh, in the meantime while you, re re while you relax and recover from that one. So, as I said, sub-projects are interrelated. Uh, that's what you try to do in your efficiency model. You try to make them related. And then uh, once you have that, then you should be all right. Anyways, uh, that's it for this test. This works well. And I think uh, possibly uh, Tuesday or Wednesday we'll film uh, a Ubuntu BSC Unix style right here, just the way it is now, because this worked all right. Next test, 
the kitchen diner. All right, take it easy. Bye bye. All right, let's get to this. Yeah, the next BTS vlog. Next segment of the BTS vlog. Uh, it is four hours and 17 minutes into the day of Wednesday, October 15th, 2014. And if you're wondering where Tuesday went, I'm wondering the same thing. <laughs> uh, there she goes again. <laughs> yeah. We have our, uh, it's a, uh, live wallpaper of Hatsune Miku. Of course, the geek thing, right? Um... Tuesday, if you if you're watching if you, if you watch this on a regular basis, then you'll know that my sleep schedule shifts on a regular basis. And one of the things that indicates a shift in time is actually some day uh, a couple days of absence, or one or two days of absence from vlogs, and that's because my, my I go into a period where I don't have a, a regular night and regular day in, in terms of. Uh, I'm not sleeping straight through. I have something known as an oscillating sleep. It means I'm awake for a bit, I'm asleep for a bit. I'm awake for a bit, I'm asleep for a bit. This usually lasts about two days. And then when I come out of it, I have a new sleep pattern. Uh, right now, I said we're starting at 4 o'clock in the morning. Right, right, it's uh, 4.18. Uh, just a week ago, we were starting at midnight. So we we're four hours ahead of where we were just a week ago and you'll see that with maybe a week to two weeks we're gonna be a little bit further ahead and you'll start seeing as you watch this that my sleep schedule will rotate and it goes for a bit where yeah four o'clock comes I'm up um, and then around four to six o'clock in the evening I'm tired I want to go to bed again that right, 12 hour day 12 just about a 12 hour day and then what will happen is I'll go for a while but something will happen that will start edging back. What uh, uh, will happen uh, uh, will, 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 will start forcing me to have interrupted sleeps. In other words, my sleep will be interrupted. That means the amount of sleep that I get per night starts to shrink. As that occurs, my body becomes more and more fatigued. And at some point in time, my body has no idea whether it's night or day. It goes into this oscillating mode of sleep for a bit, awake for a bit, sleep for a bit, awake for a bit. And then, of course, my time shifts again. Uh, so that's kind of where we are now. This, we, we are in this sort of, we, we, I just sort of left this oscillating mode. Uh, I'm back to, uh, I think, a regular working day, uh, in terms of my studying, anyways. And that's what we do here. Work, work is studying. This is the same thing. Uh, that's what I do all day here at my research desk. Uh, it is like being in school for the rest of your life. Uh, the re well, what do you do, you know, how do you get paid for your research? Well, you do not necessarily get paid for your research. Not, that's the whole point. It, the whole point of your life here as a researcher isn't necessarily getting paid. It's about the research. It's about studying. It's about exploring the entire universe. And, or at least you're part of the universe anyway, so... Uh, You're not necessarily looking to make money from whatever you're doing. But you do have to make money. You do have to uh, bring in an income to pay for all this equipment and so on and so forth. So what you have to do is you have to find ways of uh, taking, let's say, uh, uh, a spin-off product or a spin-off service and using that to make some money. Uh, you also rely you rely on donations. People donate money to you to do X amount of reasons. Let's say... Uh, you are doing research anyways uh, at a lot, a lot, at a, uh, in a variety of different areas. There isn't any reason why you can't add in the medical research uh, program and do something, let's like, say, for cancer or do something for uh, Alzheimer's disease or for ALS, you know, there are, or, or for MS. There are a number of different areas that you can add in while you're doing the research anyways uh, that allow you to bring in some donations. So, in other words... Uh, you, there are ways of funding uh, this open-ended type of work. It, it is known as, it is open-ended. It's, it's, uh, it's not academic in the sense that there's no, there's no uh, application to it. 
it's, it's it goes beyond academic. It, it, it's it's into uh, something known as esoteric, problems, where, where you have something physical out of it. You get a, you get something physical out of it in terms of a, 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 a equipment, but it's not necessary and 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 knowledge too. But it's not necessarily sellable. You can't sell it. There's no market for it, uh, and that's where you have to sort of take on another hat and learn about business and uh, find a way to take s not all the products but some of the products that, that produce from the research and uh, and the services and then sell them out and, and sell them out. But the thing is, is that it's not always easy to do that. And the thing is, you got to remember that the focus is not sales. It's not about the business, it's about the research. The research is the primary driving thing. And if you understand that, then you're all right. But if you start losing that idea, then the research self itself will start to suffer. Anyways, uh, i got a full day ahead of me. And I think we'll talk more about the mu We have something to do in the music studio. I'll probably take you into the laundry room behind me to show you some of the laundry that I'm doing. So in other words, we have things to do, and we're also getting caught up on our uh, blog, our, our vlogs. The BTS vlog is starting to get caught up. We're getting to a current point, so we'll see where we go from here. All right, take it easy. Bye. Well, good morning, everybody. It's uh, uh, it's time to start a uh, another segment of the BTS vlog, and. Uh, start my day. I haven't started the day yet. Uh, I just did a couple things, uh, but I thought I'd better vlog now uh, because I got a lot of other things to do ahead. And if I don't vlog now, I won't be able to vlog until basically lunchtime. Anyway, so I'm going to give you a time and date stamp. It is uh, three hours and 36 minutes into the day of Thursday, October 16th, 2014. That's right. Uh, so far, we've been successful vlogging every day. We also did an unboxing yesterday, gave a couple shoutouts. Uh, the shoutouts went to uh, Funny Film Girls and to uh, Nicole uh, Paredes, I think it is. It's P A R E D E S. And so I'm going to pronounce it as Perides. So. Uh, what has to be done today is I have to set up, finish setting up the uh, studio where I'm going to shoot the Insta vlogs. We've got the new camera now. And that should be an interesting change. I want to see how this camera performs. If the camera performs well, then... It's very possible that this camera here may be replaced with an Nikon. Uh, uh, I am going to try to continue working on M in, in, in the MTS format. I do want to develop for the MTS format in terms of uh, making sure that Linux stays open like this. But uh, the question is whether if, if this format is good enough if it's, or if there are problems. It, it really depends on how well the editing situation goes. If the pro if yeah, if yeah, yeah, yeah. there aren't a significant number of problems with the uh, uploads, uh, you know, in terms of the way, they, the way you view it on YouTube with these BTS logs, then the camera's going to stay here. If there is a problem, uh, in other words, the, the situation starts to deteriorate and I can't control it any further, uh, then uh, this camera will go into a reserve mode, and only if it's necessary. Then I'll bring this camera out, and, but otherwise, uh, I'll be spending most of my time working with the Nikon. So, uh, but anything is the Nikon is the next step up, anyways, because it is a DSLR. Doing DSLR work, it, you know, you get a, a, bit, a better result out of it. It's a more professional result. So, uh, why not work with the the uh, Nikon DSLR format? So, I mean, I think that's where I want to go, anyway. So. <laughs> Uh, the next step is then to now start producing documentaries and start doing some. And this is sort of where the Insta vlogs come in. The Insta vlogs come in because they are sort of the, uh, uh, the they are the production of the live essay, if you will. So when I'm at doing the Insta vlogs, all I have in front of me are the notes, and. 
what you hear is an essay that is developed as uh, I'm speaking. So in other words, it's an instant um, essay. I'm not. I decided to do this in one uh, uh, one shoot, no edit. So uh, I, the way it filmed because I can't film an entire hour using the camera. I can only shoot 20 minutes. The way it's going to be broken up is it's going to be broken up into three 15-minute segments in one introductory 10-minute segment. That's about 55 minutes. So uh, that's the standard format for uh, the Insta vlogs, unless we have a special, which could be uh, up to two hours. So. But again, broken up into segments. But you know, you're not going to actually see the segments broken up in terms of you know, you know, separate uh, uh, YouTube files. It's going to be sort of there'll be commercial spaces there. There'll be like a station, station identification between the segments, and that's so that will let you know. Okay, one segment is finished. Then here's another, another segment that's coming up. So that's how we'll sort of work it out. Oh, uh, anyways, uh, I've got my rough notes for that, and uh, it should be an interesting go today. I do have my uh, music studio working to a bit. I haven't done a lot of work in the music studio, but I will be doing more. So, uh, if we do anything in the music studio that's uh, filmable, uh, I will definitely uh, start doing that. And I also have to work on uh, Toys DIY, but that might take some time because uh, Friday and Saturday over the weekend I'm going out to a conference I'll see if I can vlog a little bit at the conference and uh, give you an update on that because it will be a different area it will be a different area I'm not going to be here I'll be at a, at, at the, the church and I'll be vlogging from the church so uh, anyways that leaves us uh, with the work to get done today and I will see you later. All right, maybe for lunch. Okay, take it easy. Bye bye. Well, it is. Uh, let me get my date for you. Time, date and timestamp for you. <laughs> it is ten hours and fourteen minutes into the day of Friday, October seventeenth, two thousand fourteen. And believe it or not, we're catching up. Um, the uh, uploads for October 1st have gone up. For the BTS vlog for the October 1st. I am doing vlog of October. Uh, I'm vlogging every day in October. I'm not uploading every day, but I am vlogging every day. And there she goes again. <laughs> uh, it, uh, you know, oh, hurt. I've been in an oscillating sleep mode. So, what that means is that, once again, that my body is, seems to be uh, in a fatigue mode. It's in a sort of in-between state where it doesn't know whether it's supposed to be awake or asleep. Uh, this causes a particular problem in that uh, even when I'm awake, my body is more tired or, or susceptible to be, being tired than normal. And this is evident by the yawning. Now, hopefully, if I could catch this and make sure that my, my speech isn't as slurred as it usually is when, when, when I'm in this when when I'm in this state, uh, things will be sort of okay. But uh, this weekend I've got a conference. Uh, I probably will not be vlogging at the conference there. Uh, I haven't taken my vlogging camera out yet, so uh, we're still I'm still in, in many ways in the testing phase with this camera. I noticed that there are some problems. The problems aren't aren't that bad, but the uh, uh, the the, uh, the the what do you call it? the uh, the conversion times are the you know the rendering times are rather long, lengthy. Uh, basically, uh, it, to do eight to do uh, twenty six uh, uh, to do uh, H two six four the uh, high definition high high def. Uh, it took seven and a half hours, so uh, I'm gonna play around with this a little bit and see how things work, uh, and see what produces a good quality uh, uh, output and what doesn't, and then we'll kind of go from there, and that will sort of dictate uh, whether or not I actually stick with the Sony, or uh, because now that the, uh, the 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 InstaVlog Studio is now set up. 
with the Nikon. Whether I actually get another after Christmas, I'll get another. No, I'll get another Nikon and replace the Sony with a Nikon. So we'll see what happens. You know, it, the, these things are sort of a, a matter of uh, trial and error. And as a the BTS vlog is part of that this is what's part of the B, B, <clears throat> sorry about that it's part of the BTS vlog seeing behind the scenes seeing the mistakes seeing all the trial and error that's what's that, that's that's part of the show that's part of the vlog so there's no need to cut the stuff out there's no need to sort of not really say sorry uh, but anyway, I'm gonna leave this here. I don't seem to be too uh, awake. I'm gonna try to film in this vlogs in a few minutes, but I don't know how successful it's gonna be because I am still a little groggy. So, anyways, uh, I will talk to you later. All right, bye bye. Democratic Earth. Earth.